and welcome back to another edition of Christopher's Kitchen. From time to time, we'd like to give you some creative ways to spice up your menu at home just a bit. Today is no exception as we take you to Italy for a light summer pasta. This is a light summer pasta. With a kick. With a kick. <laughs> uh, it's got a little spice to it. We take a zucchini and we cut this in half. And you want to you just cut this as thin as possible. Okay. Now you can do it by hand like this. Get it real thin. Or if you have one of these little... One of these little gadgets here, it's kind of a, a mandolin. This is not a true mandolin. This is like a, uh, a plastic variety of that. You like just a rod peel version? Exactly. Yeah. But these are really nice because they're uh, almost disposable. You just get a nice, really thin, even cut. Now, what you want to do is use some good olive oil. Don't spare any expense on the olive oil. I'm using the Seco olive oil. I like that a lot. And I've got about three zucchini here. You probably don't need this much, but I'm going to... Okay. I'm going to get that going in there. Now Christopher, it looks like a lot of zucchini has as it many is. as it's designed to feed. But I tell you, Mike, this melts all the way down. Okay, we're going to melt that all the way. Now I've got some, some of these. You've seen me use these before when I'm cooking Italian. The Italians use something called pepperoncini. These are uh, the closest that I can find. This is a uh, pekin pepper. So we just break those up. I'm just using about three of those. Let those get down to the olive oil. Break those up in there. Okay. And you don't want to cook this fast. You want to slow cook it and not get very much color at all. You just want to let these simmer down. Now, I'm not adding any salt right now. For salt, I'm going to use uh, the pasta water. Uh, whatever I boil my pasta in, I'm going to reserve some of that water and season it with this. I'm going to actually finish cooking my pasta in this zucchini. So this takes about, if you're doing it right, maybe 15, maybe even 20 minutes to slow cook it down. Now we're ready to... Uh, to do our pasta. Now we've got boiling water here and you salt this. Now the Italians say that you salt the water enough so that it tastes like the sea. Okay? That's your guideline. Everybody wants to know how much salt to put. So we have good rolling boil. I'm just cooking a half a pound a day. Okay? Try to leave these whole. Now I'm using spaghetti because that's that's the way uh, I learned the dish. I think maybe even a finer pasta is uh, is better. Now, Mike, you can see that this has this zucchini has almost melted away. Remember all that zucchini that we had? Just almost melted away, and that's what we're looking for. Now I'm going to take some fresh basil leaves and tear that in there. Okay? Just add those. You always want to add uh, fresh herbs at the end. It gives maximum flavor. If you cook all of this out, then uh, uh, you'll just lose that flavor, and it just turns brown. Now I'm going to take also some of our boiling pasta water that we had. I'm just going to add that to this. Give it a little bit more heat there. Just add a little bit of pasta water. Take our pasta that we drained uh, earlier. We're just going to add that in there. Just going to just get that a good stir in there. And the key to this is just great, great olive oil. Now this is one of those things you really can't do ahead of time. That pasta should be strained and uh, come right out of there, right into this. It should be hot, steaming. And um, you just mix this up for a little bit. Just make sure it's all incorporated. Make sure the pasta is fully cooked. All right, we've got our zucchini pasta right off the uh, stove there. Now this is just a really great natural. Now you see there's plenty of olive oil in there. I'm not going to add any more. A lot of times I'll finish with some olive oil right on top. Okay, now I'm going to grate a little bit of uh, Reggiano Parmesan over this. Fresh grated is always best. Try not to buy anything in a carton if you can. I want you to go ahead and taste this, Mike. Because All right. It's really natural. I mean, people, I mean, you don't, you don't, and then remember, there's no garlic in this either. Right. Now, I do like garlic, and if you had garlic in there, it wouldn't hurt it. I mean, if you really had to have it, but try it without it. It's, 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 uh, it's nice. It is very nice. Isn't that good? It does have a bit of a kick to it, too. I mean, that's oh, yeah. A little... I added a little bit too much pepper in this one. <laughs> it's okay, though, because I good. like it spicy. It's early. You can handle it. And again, if you'd like the excess, it is perfect. If you like to access this recipe, it is available at kbtx.com. Just click onto the food page and you'll find all of the recipes there that we create here in Christopher's Kitchen. For Christopher Lampo, I'm Mike Wright.